We all see mega projects every now and then, but do you know about the world's 10 most expensive mega projects that have costs exceeding a whopping $1 trillion? These mega projects are so unique that they will not just reshape a small area, but cities, countries, and even continents. So, let's go on a deep dive into the world's 10 most expensive mega projects and subscribe to Stellar Builds if you're looking for more mega project related videos. Starting the list with the Tent T Core Rail Network, which is also known as the Trans European Transport Network. This core rail network is a strategic network of railways that is going to improve Europe's railway system and connect more countries so that traveling is seamless. The core network focuses on nine major corridors designed to streamline transportation between key urban, industrial, and logistics centers. These corridors are planned to eliminate bottlenecks, improve cross-border connections, and upgrade infrastructure to accommodate high-speed and freight trains. But that's not where it ends. You see, one of the most important aspects of the 10T Mega Project is that it is going to shift a significant portion of freight traffic from road to rail, thereby reducing carbon emissions and congestion. This aligns with the European Union's Green Deal goals of achieving climate neutrality by 2050. Costing a whopping $600 billion price, the network is expected to enhance economic cohesion by improving access to markets and resources across member states. It aims to produce a more competitive and interconnected European economy, ultimately benefiting citizens through improved travel times and increased connectivity. All in all, having the price tag of a huge $600 billion, this is one of the most expensive mega projects you would ever see. If you're not surprised by the railway, you will be blown away to see Neom City. While we've covered the city many times on our channel, every new update brings something new to the table for you. Neom City is an ambitious $500 billion mega project in Saudi Arabia aimed at creating a futuristic, sustainable urban environment. Located in the northwest of the country, Neom is set to cover 26,500 square kilometers, blending advanced technology with environmental preservation. Construction of Neon City involves several phases, focusing on sustainable building practices and advanced engineering. The city will feature autonomous vehicles, high-speed rail systems, and extensive use of artificial intelligence. However, the key components of this mega-project include three things. The first one is the Line, a linear city designed to have no cars or streets, emphasizing walkability and zero emissions. Secondly, we have Oxagon, which is an industrial city floating on the Red Sea that integrates advanced manufacturing and logistics. But that's not the final boss of Neom City, because that is Trogenia, which incorporates a beautiful mountain destination to make people experience outdoor activities and luxury living while learning about the culture. And while we're on the Gulf side of things, the Gulf Railway won't massively surprise you. It's a $250 billion endeavor, and it is a significant infrastructure project aimed at connecting the Gulf Cooperation Council, or GCC, countries through a comprehensive rail network. What's surprising about this mega project is that it spans over 2,000 kilometers. It's set to enhance trade, transport, and economic integration across the region. But why exactly is this project coming into play? You see, the Gulf Railway aims to facilitate seamless passenger and freight movement between Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Oman, Kuwait, Bahrain, and Qatar. By reducing travel times and increasing connectivity, it would be best for all the economies, creating a strong connection that is similar to the 10T Core Railway. The infrastructure contains high-speed trains, freight services, and intermodal terminals, and once completed, it would cost a staggering $250 billion price. However, aside from the international benefits, it would also create thousands of jobs and make tourism and business easier and more effective. While we've been talking about land, here's a mega project for the air. The International Space Station, or ISS, a $230 billion project, is a remarkable feat of international collaboration and engineering. 
It serves as a microgravity and space environment research laboratory orbiting Earth. Pretty cool, right? But wait till you see more about its construction. The interesting thing about this mega project is its modular design. The ISS consists of interconnected modules, each serving specific functions such as laboratories, living quarters, and observation decks. To make it interesting, it is built and maintained by space agencies from the United States, Russia, Europe, Japan, and Canada. The ISS exemplifies global teamwork. But that's not even the most exciting part, because that is the fact that it will be made with solar panels, robotic arms, and life support systems, allowing human life and research to thrive. The Silk City is a $132 billion mega project with an amazing plan to take urban development to the next level. This project is being built in Kuwait, and what's interesting is that it aims to transform the country into a global hub for commerce and tourism. Silk City is designed to diversify Kuwait's economy by attracting international investment and fostering economic growth. It aims to offer a blend of residential, commercial, and leisure spaces. But that's where its strategic planning comes in, since the city will be close to the Mubarak al-Kabir port, which will take its trade to the next level by incorporating the right connectivity. Once completed, the city will feature state-of-the-art architecture and buildings, including a central business district, residential areas, and cultural venues. The future of the Silk City seems bright, and the $132 billion marvel is bound to bring about a huge change. And if you want to get into the cities of kings, we have the $100 billion King Abdullah Economic City, which is designed to diversify Saudi Arabia's economy and create a thriving urban environment. But what is the unique selling point for this megacity? You see, the AEC aims to be a dynamic hub for business, industry, and tourism. It focuses on boosting economic growth, job creation, and attracting international investment. The main highlight of this city is that it is situated along the Red Sea, which would offer it great shipping routes. Then, we have the industrial zones, where we will see a central business district, some residential communities, and even entertainment facilities for tourists to enjoy. The KAEC is expected to significantly boost the Saudi economy by creating thousands of jobs, all in an effort to improve the Saudi economy. One of the most surprising megaprojects is the Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor. It is a planned industrial corridor in India stretching across six states, Uttar Pradesh, Delhi NCR, Haranya, Rajasthan, Gujarat, and Maharashtra. The corridor aims to connect Delhi and Mumbai, two of India's major economic hubs, through a network of modern infrastructure including dedicated freight corridors, expressways, ports, airports, and industrial townships. With an estimated investment of $100 billion, the DMC is envisioned as a catalyst for industrial growth and economic development in India. It aims to create world-class manufacturing facilities, logistics hubs, and urban centers, attracting both domestic and foreign investment. The corridor is expected to generate millions of jobs, boost exports, and enhance India's competitiveness in the global market. The key features of the DMIC include a dedicated freight corridor, industrial townships, a logistics park, and special economic zones. All in all, this mega-project, once completed, will transform India's manufacturing landscape and skyrocket the country's economy. In the pursuit for creating high-speed rails, California has joined the chat. The CAHSR, or California High-Speed Rail, is a high-speed rail system in California that aims to connect major cities like San Francisco, Los Angeles, and San Diego. While there have been many delays and cost overruns, the latest projection estimates that the project will have a price tag of over $100 billion. The initial phase focuses on the Central Valley, with construction underway on a segment between Bakersfield and Merced. The full system aims to reduce travel times between major cities, offering a high-speed alternative to traditional modes of transportation. However, public opinion on the project is divided, with supporters highlighting its potential economic benefits and environmental impact, while critics raise concerns about costs, delays, and the need for alternative transportation solutions. 
The future of the California high-speed rail remains uncertain with ongoing debates about its viability, funding, and environmental impact. As the project continues to evolve, it is crucial to weigh the potential benefits against the significant costs and challenges involved.